Hello and welcome back to Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our team. This week, I, Calder Ness, your host, have built out of The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog movie set, and Simeon has built out of Mage Knight Resurrection. Simeon, uh, I won map roll, plan on whatever map. Simeon, tell us a little bit about your team. Well, let's go into the lore of Mage Knight. Uh, so circa 2000 and enlighten us. I have no idea. Um, Mage Knight, if you didn't know, was a standalone, also clickable miniature game that didn't work with Hero Clicks. But Mage, Mage Knight Resurrection, they all came with Switch Clicks. So this is the Hero Clicks version. But uh, if you bought any of these, they also had a Mage Knight version that worked differently. Um, so yeah, these characters all have weird backstories that I don't know, so I'm not going to get into it. But uh, first up is the Bonebreaker Shaman. And what that's a fun cool. looking little that's dude. Good sculpts, man. That is wild. Right? They're just like, I mean, might as well go all out with it. Um, but yeah, Bonebreaker Shaman. Yeah. So first up, he's got the Dominion Pack team ability, which is like the... Uh, minions of doom team ability but it's opposing characters within four squares so when an opposing character within four squares is ko'd characters using this team ability are healed one damage so it's kind of like a mixture of minions of doom and fantastic four because it heals the whole team as long as they're within four yeah um he's got eight range for 80 points that's one range per 10 points he's got the chaos shamans that was his apparently his uh affiliation i don't know um mystical and orc keywords he's got hear their bones grind as a trait when an opposing character takes damage from bone bone breaker shaman's attack and the result of the attack roll is doubles the target can't move until your next turn very interesting um and then he's got mend the tribe special damage power for his first three clicks bone breaker shaman can use perplex and support He's got TK, phasing, barrier, and a lot of willpower lower dial. Pretty decent little guy. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see. What what was his... Uh, nope. Nothing. Other than Lasai. Uh, that's a very 2013 comment. Next up is Raiden Mars Tesla Champion. So... This guy, look how clear he is. Ooh. Wonder what he would have looked like if he was actually painted. But instead he's just bare bones. If only of. there was a show for that. <laughs> if only. I'm not you gonna buy this old one. chase. I have one. I just I'm not gonna paint it. <laughs> oh you do? Um, oh. Yeah. Uh so he's got the Phoenix Concord team ability, eight range, hundred and seventy five points. He's got some big reducers up top, and then he goes into three clicks of Super Senses and three clicks of re Regen, with most of his dial being Pulse Wave, his whole dial being Phasing. Um, the Phoenix Concord team ability is once per turn when a power or ability of a character using this team ability or an adjacent friendly character would be countered. Roll a d6 on a 5 through 6, the power or ability is not countered. So it's like handing out protected outwit, kind of like the um the additional kc from world's finest their thing except, oh yeah 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 you have to roll a five six to we've seen a few characters that do stuff like that but he does it to adjacent people too uh he has the atlantean herald mystical tesla and warrior keywords and then he's got <sighs> atlantean <laughs> yeah not atlantis they really couldn't give him atlantis jeez no, no, he's atlantean that sucks um, so he's got an epic action. I have returned. Give Raiden Mars an epic action until your next turn. No die may be re-rolled, and no attack can be evaded. Very interesting. Um, oh my gosh! Yeah. Jeez. So that is, wow. But that also works. I mean, against that's my you team. too, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's you. That that's wild. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, and he's got dang. a trait. The Avatar of the Prophet. So Raid Mars can use Empower, Enhancement, Outwit, Perplex, and Probability Control. These are all traded. 
Uh, at the end of your turn, roll a d6 for each of these powers he used, and on a result of a 1 or 2, do not remove action tokens from him this turn. Oh, no. I can only use perplex probability control outwit enhancement and power and potentially not clear uh, but yeah super support see like those are all passive powers which is also really cool yeah and then he's got a special attack power for his first three clicks and that is the mana chain raiden mars can use penetrating psychic blast each time he hits with a ranged combat attack and the attack roll is doubles he may be given a ranged combat action as a free action, counting the range and line of fire from a square occupied by the hit target. So it's not as busted as like Vulture or Hawkeye or Wingard because he has to have doubles in the role. No. But a very interesting power. Very cool. Um, but yeah, he's got a lot going on. Just mostly phasing. And he gets pretty slow towards the end of his dial. Next up is Moonborn Dune Wolf, which is just a okay werewolfy dude. He's got some good drip going on. Yeah, he's got the Mage Spawn <laughs> team ability. Um, so this one is based on uh, one of like the big things with all of these team abilities is a lot of times it makes you list a friendly character with the highest point value as the team's master. Uh, if this character is using the team ability within four squares of its master, when the master is given a move action, then the character using this team ability may be given a move action as a free action. Uncopyable. So it gives him kind of like a pseudo charge, wow. but it's a full movement. So uh, if I move, it'll be Raiden Mars will be the master because he's the highest points. Um, if he is given a move action, this guy can move a full seven squares and then he has one trait, and that is Born of Desert and Darkness, or just Born of Desert Darkness. Uh, Moonborn Dune Wolf can use Stealth. When Moonborn Dune Wolf occupies Hindering Terrain, he can use Flurry. So that actually helps him out a lot because oh, wow. uh, he doesn't have to stop in Hindering Terrain anymore. So his dial gets a little bit better than it used to be. But his stats are still pretty bad. Nines, eights, sevens. Yeah, yeah. Um, next up is Narawas, and this is the final character from the Mage Knight. See that big sword? What do you think he does? What do you? What kind of character would this make you think of? Call Stab. Mm, I, I would say he would uh, be very close combat, charge, shot. flurry, stabbing Shark. oriented. No, no, of course not. Nine range. Oh yes, my gosh! Nine range, running shot, shark, shooter, team ability. Or, Let me uh, chuck him that ability. sword. Yeah, he's just throwing it out there. Um, let me see if I, I thought I missed something good. Probably not though. Uh, can him use brilliant tactician? Can That's him a great use... question. Can him? Yes, he, him can. Uh, Moonborn Dune Wolf has, uh, why does this figure have a switch click space? Because it was based on a different game. Uh, I'll take more werewolf options. Yes, for Alyosha Craven. Almost as bad as Doug's army was any time an animal keyword character got made. It was like Alyosha. Every single time, someone was like, oh, Alyosha Craven, give him a move action. Whoa. It was like, it's okay, like a cool. Yeah. Robot it. and Justin Seifert. Um, except people don't comment that yeah. much. So, anyhow, back to no, no. Even though it's wildly better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He has improved movement, ignores hindering train. Great. He has the Council of Mists. A character Very using useful. this team ability can use probability control, but only during your turn. And if the reroll does not have at least one die with a one or a six, the reroll is ignored. Super weird. Only during my turn, so basically only for Interesting. my attacks. And if the result doesn't have a one or six, the reroll is ignored. Very strange. Um, well, at least if you, you miss and then you accidentally crit miss, maybe, then it's like, okay. Well, no, I guess if you crit miss, you, you, it. it would stick. Yeah. So, now, yeah, yeah, then you get to keep it. Never mind. That really does. That's very strange. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, he's got a pretty bland dial, but he does have uh, the traded whispers in the treetops. He can use leap climb and stealth, which both combo with his running shot top dial. That's pretty fun. And then he's got Inspiring Negotiator as for his first two clicks. He can use Leadership and Perplex. When he uses Perplex, he may only target a character 
from whom he removed an action token this turn, but he may modify a combat value by plus two. So, not okay. the best use of perplex, but no, it is indeed perplex. All right. Well, this blows the the mage knight stuff's really blowing my mind. But let's jump into Mirkwood Sentry here, the first desolation of smog figure we got. Uh, pretty normal dude. He's got a little bendy little spear. He's from Mirkwood. He's a sentry. He watches his post. Uh, he has the special attack power for his first three clicks. Night watch. When a friendly character named Thandral is then eight squares, guess what? There is no friendly character named Thandral on my team. So look at his dial. That's what he does for my team. He's got some stealth, willpower, some enhancement. <laughs> That's it. Uh, next up is going to be the Hunter Orc. I actually do like this guy. Uh, some running shot. Um, it's really hard to see because he's all dark and stuff. He's got a little, little knife, a little dagger. It's pretty cool. He has Battlefield Promotion. Mount up. When Hunter Orc hits an opposing character, put a mount token on this card. You may roll a d6, adding one for each mount token on the card. On the result of eight or more, remove all mount tokens from the card and replace him with the Hobbit Desolation of Spog starter set 107 Hunter Orc on the same click number. Eight. Uh, we don't have those pulled up, so he needs to hit at least twice and then roll a six. And then after that, it's all cake to hopefully maybe whatever. Uh, the 107 Hunter Orc and then might as well grab 108 Azog as well. But he can turn into that, which is kind of cool. It's got duo attack. We're not going to totally get into these because the odds of me getting either Hunter Orc or Azog to pop off are pretty slim. The Hunter Orc also has a special attack power that whenever Azog is within eight squares, uh, he can use willpower, modifies his attack value plus one, which is really good nowadays, which was actually fine back then, but now it's better. So that's pretty sweet. And then speaking of Azog, he's next. Azog uh, ignores characters for movement, which is pretty cool. Uh, look at him. He's a big dude. He's getting a mace. He's missing an arm. Yeah. He's all white. The pretty pale cool. Orc. Pale orc. Uh, he also has battlefield promotion. It works just the way the hunter orcs does, except he needs to roll a nine or higher. So he'll need at least three uh, hit attacks and then rolling a six. Then he goes into 108 Azog on the same click number, which is which is this guy, which is depending on where you're at in the dial, could be actually a pretty solid upgrade. None of his stuff really helps uh, his traits, but he is, you know, he'd be a solid upgrade. Back to Azog. Uh, he has flurry and sidestep on his second click and then last two clicks. And then whenever he can use sidestep in between attacks when he uses flurry, which is kind of cool. So we could flurry first attack, sidestep, ignoring characters, hit somebody else with the second attack. And then Azog just has pretty solid stats right away which i enjoy and he's always got flurry with exploit and blades which uh, we can all use together yeah except for exploit still i think no, or they can just all be just used together exploit all yeah, of them that's right it's a uh, modifier trading damage yeah all right so yeah. so yeah that's uh that's fun that's fun uh next after Azog, we have bard the bowman we had our close combat guys here's our range combat guy uh seven range two targets sharpshooter he has a special attack power. When he makes a ranged combat attack against a single character, the target can't use defense powers during the attack. Pretty darn good. He is still just like a 10 for 2, which isn't amazing, but it is still really good. Still really good. Next up is Thorin Oakenshield. Quite enjoy this guy. Uh, another very close combat oriented piece. He's got his cool sword. I forget what it's called, Orcist or something. Who knows? That's not Orcist, uh, but whatever. Uh, he has and stay down for his special attack. He can use Blades, Claws, Fangs when he does. The minimum result of the D6 roll is his printed damage value, which is very helpful. When an opposing character would be KO'd from Thorn Oak and Shield's attacks, any other game effect that would activate as a result of that KO are ignored. Pretty neat. That's... Um, I don't think Samin had anything like that on his team. But, no. so, yeah, no. it's sort of like when a character dies, if it's like when this he character, I don't think it would be KO'd. Right, so that would if we were saying it was like a zombie, a result of a KO. Right, so yeah, it'd be not it would like be check, KO. Check for like after you know, KO, dead. yeah. So it wouldn't, right. It wouldn't affect things like uh, immortal Hulk or anything Krakoan like that. Revival, yeah. But something oh, that's yeah, like going revival, yeah. If it if it was uh, like Fantastic Four team ability, how they heal after a friendly is oh yeah. It would get rid of that 
Very strange. And why don't we just uh, scroll down, scroll down to the comment section a little, a little bit here, a little bit here. Uh, this guy needs Battle Fury to be more accurate. Thank you, White Lantern. Um, Tom Fivis says, I like this dial. I also like the character in the first movie. Hope the next two movies are as good. Uh, that's aged so well. I actually, and actually, I liked all these movies. And of course, King O. Ifidids just says, I like him. I just I think like it's him. just a funny little comment. I like him. All right. Uh, after Thorn, we have 015 Alfred. This is a character that I always think of uh, whenever someone brings up this set or even we talk about Lord of the Rings because I once played a, a tournament where it was like a 100-point game and you had to at least have two characters on your team. And this is why. Now, this is only good in that setting, but still it's fine here. But he has damage power. I serve Lake Town in my own fashion. Alfred can't be the target of an attack unless the attacking character is 100 or more points or Alfred is the only friendly character. So that's kind of neat. Ooh. He's also a 10 for 2 precision strike, which is pretty cool. So you can only attack Alfred if you are 100 points or more. And then I have a pog. We have the worker spider. It's got leap climb, barrier, and empower, which is really, really good for 10 points. You know, you thought a Marvella 15 point <laughs> barrier was good. Two range. Oh, even. baby. Yeah, two whole range. It's amazing. Uh, but all right, yeah, those are the teams. The stage is set. The die is cast, as they say. Uh, I won map roll, like I said earlier. We are playing in... I don't even know what map this is, but it is a Desolation of Smog map. The starter for the Hobbit starter sets always had just tons. I mean, tons of maps. There's There was like three or four maps that are all double-sided which is really cool this is a 400 point game i have leadership simeon also 400 points leadership we also got some epic actions going actually no i don't think i have any epic actions but simeon does have an epic action which is really cool but all right my first turn fairly simple we're gonna get alfred moved up he's gonna move seven squares to that spot of hindering let's go ahead have thorin just pop on right behind him Thorn, go there, pick up the light object. Have Azog move up. I think Azog is a seven. He is a seven. Cool. Azog will pick up that light object. Okay, and then we'll go down here, and then let's have the Mirkwood Guard, or the Mirkwood Sentry, excuse me, move his seven squares. And then he'll pick up the lights as well. And then we'll just have Bard go behind him. And those are my five actions, and it is Simeon's turn. All right. I'm going to roll for leadership because it depends on if I can use Perplex or not um, with a good old Narwas. Uh, let's see here. I think the the Tesla champion is going to go seven squares. The Tesla somewhere. champion. He's going to carry Moonborn Dune Wolf with him. He'll go here, dropping the Dune Wolf there. And I can technically give Moonborn Dunewolf a move action now as free since uh, he was within... I don't know. I don't know how that technically works if he's off the board when I carry him or not. Um, either way, I'm not going to move him currently. Um, okay. <laughs> let's see... That is an action for Raiden Mars. He's going to perplex up uh, his own defense for now. Let's see where Narwas can get. He can go one, two. Yeah, let's... We'll have him go here for now. 
and Bonebreaker Shaman. He's going to phase seven squares out. He also has Perplex, so he'll go... He'll go right behind Raiden Mars. Actually, can I get up there? My one short. No, I can do that. Okay. We'll do that. We'll go here. Uh, he will perplex up his own defense. Wow. Very interesting. Um, that is all I can do this turn. Okay, I have a couple leaderships. Thorin and Azog both have leadership, which is pretty cool. So Thorin's leadership is going to be a two. Azog's leadership is going to be a two. Uh, and then Alfred has willpower, which is going to be a fail. And I think the Mirkwood Sentry also has willpower. So let's roll for his. It's also a fail. What a, what a of beginning of the turn rolls, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, um, let's see what we can do then. Let's go ahead and have the Mirkwood Guard uh, traverse to here. And then let's just double check. All right, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and have Bard the Bowman running shot to here. And we'll go ahead and shoot old Raydan Mars using our wicked cool... <laughs> as they say in Bard the Bowman land, uncanny aim. Using his uncanny aim, you won't be able to use defense powers, but I think it's just invincible. And then we have an enhancement, so it's going to be a 10 for 3 running shot, Bard the Bowman. Oh, that'll hit a 17. You will miss me by one. Hmm. Darn. It really do be like that sometimes, as the kids say. All right, so that's Bard. That's you. We have two more actions left. I think more than anything, we need to get one, two. Uh, let's get this orc. Let's get the hunter orc up there. And then let's get that spider up there so that way the spider can do stuff. Look, the spider's got eight squares. So that's a spider, that's that. Let's see, does anybody want to actually move? Let's go ahead. Nah, we'll clear these fellas up here. Leave that one action on our table. And it's your go, Simeon. All right. I think, even though he's like the, the leader of the team, I don't think Raiden Mars has any leadership. No, he does not. So it's just Narawas. So I'll roll for him. Nothing. That means he can't perplex this turn. That's fine. Didn't want to. Why would I? Um, let's see. He can move five squares with his running shot. If I could get there and blast blast um so i think see this is bard here yeah it looks like him looks close enough to bard the bowman um raiden mars is going to outwit whatever bard the bowman's defense is oh he is esd this is a very good call okay yeah we'll get rid of that uh, let's go with, let's see, empower, enhancement, outwit, perplex, and probability control. Yeah. I love how, like, if it's a turn that you're taking an action, the downfall of him using those powers is absolutely nothing, because you already aren't going to remove an action token. That yeah. Um, Zero. So I might as well perplex something. 
think I want to save it for Dune Wolf. So I'm going to outwit, yeah, outwit his defense. And then I think I will take a shot. This is the Psychic Blast. If I hit with doubles, then I get to roll another attack kind of thing. Hmm. Tempting. That will hit. It's very tempting to drop. Uh, that'll hit for, <laughs> for four. For four, it takes Bard to click five. Let's see. A little, little sidestep willpower ranged combat expert action going on here. Sidestep ranged combat expert. Not as good as it used to be. Nope. And Narawaz is going to... Running shot to here. And he has nine range. So, I mean, I guess I could shoot at Bard the Bowman. Alternatively, I could shoot at that oh, guy wow. or the... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it blocks can't right quite, there. But... Can't quite shoot the spider, but you can shoot the hunter orc. Yeah. Um, I think I will just target Bard since he's the one that's engaged right now. Dang. Um, so I'm Poor a 10 bard. into your defense. That's doubles. Oh, that will miss. All it right. is doubles, though. Uh, so that was Narawas. He's going to use his Council of Miss team ability to prob that. And if there's a Ooh, one yeah. or a six in the next roll, I keep it. There is not. Darn. No good. Uh, no good. I don't think Raiden Mars can see that. Actually, maybe. I um, would say he can. Looks like he can. We will. What did you, you already say? probed your own attack this turn. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. What did you say Bard's on? Bard now? has sidestep, willpower, and ranged combat expert. Sidestep, willpower, ranged combat expert. Okay. Don't know how well he's double tokened. Uh, I won't prob it. I don't have any reason to not prob it, but I'm not going to. Mm. Um, Bonebreaker Shaman will perplex up Narwa's defense, and then he'll just phase to here. Raiden is gonna perplex up Moonborn Dune Wolf's defense. And then Moonborn Dune Wolf is going to move seven. One, two, three, four. He'll just go right here. Mm. Okay. Okay. He's going to carry that okay. trash can okay. along with him. All right. Absolutely. Uh, at the end of my turn, I technically have to roll for each power Raiden Mars used. So, oh, I can't clear actions this turn. That's a pity. I was going <laughs> to. Darn, what a shame. Are you totally, yeah, you're going to cheat and clear actions? Yes. That was the plan. All right. Uh, let's have Thorin roll leadership. Five. We'll take it off this guy. Don't need to roll Azog's leadership then. Let's have Willpower be rolled for the Mirkwood Sentry. A two. A failure. A failure. Uh, all right. That is, oh, Bard the Bowman has Willpower now. Bard the Bowman's willpower. Five. Take a token off Bard the Bowman. Very cool. A very, very cool, very cash money. Very sweet. All right. Let's go ahead. Um, the Hunter Orc, seven speed, four range. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. Four. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Have the Hunter Orc running shot. It's there, shooting... Uh, well, actually, does line of fire work? Yes, it does. Okay, yeah, shooting at Moonborn Dune Wolf here. Moonborn Dune Wolf. It is a, it is a 10. He's got Ooh, wow, 17. that will hit a 21. Okay. How much damage does Hunter Orc do? Uh, Hunter Orc does three damage to the Moonborn Dune Wolf. Put me on click four. 
We're gonna roll that d6. Oh, we rolled a six and we add one. It was a seven. I'm gonna put my tokens in the green spot for all my hit tokens. That was for our battlefield promotion. Oh, baby, if we hit one more time and roll that six again, we'll be able to switch. <laughs> uh, anyways, the dream, yeah, is, the dream is live, the dream's real. It's possible, it's possible. We just got to keep rolling those sixes. Oh man, almost wish I hadn't, but all right. Uh, does he still have plasticity now? That uh, newborn, newborn. I don't believe so. Uh, no, he is on charge now. On click four. All right, so now we'll have Bard try to sidestep breakaway. Five. He'll sidestep back one square to here. And he is actually going to go ahead with the enhancement. And then with the range combat expert, he is going to be a plus two damage, plus one attack. So he'll be a 10 for four. And we're going to shoot at Norowas. Try to... He's an Try to take him out. With super senses. Ooh, an 18, not a fan. If he's an 18, what's the wolf look like? He is a 16 with willpower. Well, actually, I guess Bart the Bowman has two targets, and if range combat expert's passive now, we can just target them both, can't we? Yeah. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll just target. We'll just target both of them. Bam! That's actually kind of helpful. It is a ten for four, targeting the wolf and Norowas. Ooh, it is gonna miss them both. Would you look at that? All that talk for nothing. All right, that is one, two actions. Let's go ahead. What's the best way to get you fella fellers across? Um, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Move Alfred to there. Not that that's probably a great. Well, actually, how much range does Alfred have? Does he have any range? Oh, of course he doesn't. All right, yeah, so we'll move Alfred there. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there with Azog. And then one, two, three, four. Five, six there with Thorn. All right. Clear the worker spider. And then clear the Mirkwood sentry. And it is your go. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's not really any great. Yeah, I can't see him. I can only see him. Straight. Darn it. Um, we will roll leadership with Narawas. A two. Okay. Um, well, that makes my turn pretty simple then. Uh, Moonborn Dune Wolf with his eight speed, eight attack, Battle Fury will charge to. Mm nowhere i guess he's just gonna attempt to blades the guard guy oh the mirkwood sentry yeah he's got a whole 16 defense all right i only need an eight interesting i will re-roll oh, close doubles the doubles though the team ability norawas uh, yeah you need that council of the mists mists Council of the Mists. Oh, there's a six. So I keep oh, it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you do get to keep it, yeah. Interesting. Keep it. The team ability right. is not complete trash. Um, <laughs> I thought it kind of would be, but... Hey, reroll's uh, a reroll, man. Reroll's a reroll. Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, rolling for blades. Ah, the Dune Wolf. Oofta. Eats his Oofta. Tail. Does he even have a sixth click? He does not. You have deleted Mirkwood Sentry. Drop his light object right there. Let's see. Throw him in a KO spot. Bonebreaker Goodbye, Shaman Mirkwood Sentry. Was within four squares, so I could heal one damage, except he hasn't mm. taken damage. Um, I will clear Bonebreaker Shaman. Narwas. Oh, uh, before I clear, Bonebreaker Shaman's gonna perplex up 
Narawas's defense again. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, does Raiden, for using Perplex, does he need to roll his thing? He didn't Perplex this turn. That was uh, just the Shaman. Oh, who did? Oh, Bonebreaker Shaman. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. All right, sweet. Let's do Bard the Bowman's willpower. No, let's do Hunter Orc's willpower. No, let's do uh, what's his face? Is Alfred's willpower? All right, and then let's finally do Azog's leadership. Okay, wow, amazing, so good, mm -mm, so good and tasty. Sidestep, part the bowman over here. Let's have the hunter orc. I think he's sort of been our standout. See if we can put a nail in the coffin that is Moonborn Dune Wolf. Gotta double check. See if this guy's got two targets. Oh, of course, one target. For That's my, fair. He's at forty for my uh, willpower. I have it on Moonborn Dune Wolf. We'll just have the Hunter Orc take a shot against the Moonborn Dune Wolf. It is a 10 against your 15. defense. 15. Oh, hey, that will hit. that's a 10. Nice. That will hit. You do we'll get a second two token. Two damage. We do three damage. Yeah, that's three whole enough. damage with the uh, Hunter Orc. Uh, now that we have rolled, we'll get a second thing. And if this is a six, we get to replace him. Ah, so close. Oh, I hope it doesn't just keep getting one one lower <laughs> or whatever. That'd be awful. That'd be awful. Please go back up. But all right. Um, pretty good. Pretty solid on the, the orc there. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Um, let's go ahead. Let us... Let us proceed. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to have to... We're going to have to do something here. Let's go ahead and move Alfred. One, two, three, four there. Give him a token. Let's go ahead and move Adzog. There. Give him a token. One, two, three. Move Adzog here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move Thorin there. One, two, three, four. We have one more action. Go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven to there with this guy. Actually, I don't even want to do that. I want to save him. All right. Cool. And then we clear Bard the Bowman. It's your turn. Bard the Bowman. Let's see. Uh, rolling for leadership with Narwas. No, I don't think I'll get that this game. That's fine. Um, Hot dog. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. I could do something real dumb. Well, you are Simeon Bruce, and I would not expect you to do anything else if that, if that helps. So, good old, uh, what's... What's creepy face, man? Alfred's uh, power. It's people that are 100 points or less. Yeah, if you're 100 points or less, you can't attack him. Okay, so I can only attack him with Raiden Mars. Um, yeah. Which may have not been the greatest planning in my part, but... It is where we are at, and he is my meatiest of shields to get my other boys up into the fray, as they would say it. That's... I think I kind of like this guy where he's at. So We're just a bunch of dudes. We're just a bunch of dudes in a line. We're all double token. Don't even worry about it. We don't have any way to remove action tokens. Don't worry about it. We totally have no ways to remove action tokens. Uh, not that we are going to get them. Not that we're going to roll, anyways. Raiden Mars is going to take a shot at uh, good old Alfred. At Alfred. He's got a 17 defense. That should Ooh, hit. I imagine that will hit. For four. Four. It takes Alfred to click five. Alfred on click five. 
pretty invincible. He's got a whole 15 defense right now. Okay. Pretty amazing. It's not too bad. Pretty amazing. Uh, let's see here. Bonebreaker Shaman is going to perplex up Narawas's attack. And he's mm. going to... No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think he'll running shot to here. Oh, run away like, like the coward he is. Yeah, he'll do that. He'll run in shot to here, and he'll take a shot at Bard the Bowman. Okay. So he'll be seventeen a, willpower a twelve plus one because the hindering. So you roll six or better. Hmm. He will. Oh, yeah, very lucky. Very lucky on that. that with his own team ability. All right, see so if we can get lucky I again. Get to keep that. Ah, well, you do. You, you do get to keep that. I will prob it with Raiden Mars. All right, that can will we get another eight. five in a row. No, sadly, that is a six. We'll get rid of Bard the Bowman, the man of bows. Uh, Raiden will the not end. to be confused with Bows Man Montana. See what I did there? It's pretty funny, anyways. Raiden, so Raiden's used prob. I don't think he's used his perplex, so he'll perplex up Narawas' defense. Bonebreaker Shaman will phase okay. to here. Ooh. And then I'll I'll roll to see if I can not clear the tokens that I wouldn't clear. So first roll. Second. What a nice guy you are. Ah, oh, I get to clear the tokens that I can't clear. Nice. Very good. Nice. All right. We're going to start with Thorn Oakenshield's leadership. Six. I believe they are both warrior keyword. Azog, warrior, Thorin, warrior. Dope. We had to take a token off of Azog. And then Azog's leadership is a three, and then we'll do the willpower on... Hunter Orc, which is a two. All right, not so bad. Not too bad. Azog, a beefy boy that he is. Yeah, he's an 11. We're going to try to go for that big damage with his light object. He'll charge one, two, three, four to here. It's going to be, yeah, an 11 for five damage with his light object. Oh, that'll hit a 17. Ooh, I will... Prob it with Raiden. Ray Dan. Okay. Well, that makes it Ooh, worse. So I will, I will take. Still hit. That's five damage, so I'll go to click. Five four. to three, yeah. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Um, anybody else can do anything? Nope. No, we can't. Clear. Uh, actually, technically, we get to roll d6 because we hit an attack. Whoa, five. That would have been a six. That's so close to nine. Um, we'll give Azog one token or whatever uh, for hitting, and then we'll clear our spider. And it is your go. All right. Uh... Narawas leadership. Make me proud. Nope. Okay. Versaid. Uh... Versaid. I forgot he's got leap climb traded. So I can actually just go pretty much anywhere with him. Let's attempt to. Click four. Raiden's not really doing a whole lot. Yeah. We will. Do 
do something though. Let's just uh, we'll perplex up Raiden's defense with the Bonebreaker Shaman for now. Uh, he's gonna TK him. Okay. Five squares away to here. And then he's going to, Raiden Mars is going to pulse wave with a range of four. So it'll be these three Sounds guys good. with a All of them. 10 attack. Okay, 18 hits everybody. All right, Raiden will re-roll that himself. Good, 15s. That that will uh, that will actually kill Alfred, uh, I believe. Alfred's got a fifteen on his last click. Yeah, he does. Yeah, you you will kill you will kill Alfred. Very Amazing. Um, Amazing. What does Azog have for defense right now? Uh, Azog has invincible, eighteen invincible. All right, Raiden is going to outwit that, and then good old. Ah, that hurts. Good old that cuts Norvac Norawaz is going to use his combination Norawaz. leap climb and running shot to go here, picking up the enhancement from Raiden. Mm. Okay. And he's going to shoot at Azog. Ooh, Ufta. That will hit. For four. For damage. how much? Ooh, for four. So I go to click five on Azog. Azog. That sucks. That is rough. Um, I used Bonebreaker Shaman's Deep or his Perplex. Narwhal didn't get his Perplex. I used Raiden Mars Outwit Enhancement. Uh, Raiden will. Perplex down. Uh, what's what's Thorin rocking right now? Is he charge? He is charge blades, toughness, leadership. I'm guessing he's got more than six speed. He has exactly six speed. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'll perplex his speed down one. <laughs> Material scumbag. Material <laughs> scumbag. Um, I'll do that with Raiden. I'll roll for the three, four powers he used. Real scumbag, this guy. One, two, three. Oh, I can't clear this turn. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All righty then. All righty then. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, no leaderships matter right now. No willpower rolls matter right now. Azog probably had Indom back before it was a thing. Yeah, he did. Okay, cool. So none of that matters. Azog's actually not a terrible spot right now. Since everybody's double tokened, um, we're not terribly scared of Azog, but just in case, I don't want to even sidestep. He'll sidestep one square, I guess, to here. So he can still, still sort of get places. Eh, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and have, well, actually, if he's going to sidestep, go here. Sidestep one, two. Yeah, I might as well sidestep here. Okay. We're going to have the Hunter Hork running shot. One, two, three, four to here, targeting the Bone Breaker Shaman. Bone he's going to be a 10 attack. Three damage. Uh-oh. Oh, baby, doubles. That'll hit for three damage. All right, that'll take me to click four. Uh, we'll get a third mount token, and then we get a roll. If it is a five or higher. Aha! Battlefield promotion, baby! All right. We get to turn him into the uh, 107 Hunter Orc, which I don't even have pulled up. Do, 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 do. Awesome. I don't even know. That could be worse, honestly. But... Uh, I'm not going to kick a gift horse in the mouth. So let's grab our Hunter Orc. 
Let's do it like this. Blah. This guy on our sideline. Um, let's see. Battle for promotion. Do you... Is it a replace so he gets a token? Let's look at it. Oh, remove from this card. Yeah, replace him. So replacements get tokens, right? Just like shifting focus do. So yeah, he'll have yeah. one token on him. All right, sweet. And then because your jerk perplex down thorn speed, he will instead throw his light object at Raiden Mars. <laughs> okay. Because grab that light object. Uh, so it'll be uh, let's put is it ten attack on to Thorin? Yeah, 17. ten attack for two damage. Seventeen on Raiden. All right. See what we can roll here. Ah, that'll miss. All right. Well, like, there goes our light object. Had to go for it, though. And we clear Mr. Zog. As of the Zogs. And we might as well actually leap climb the spider to here. Just because you don't have poison, do you? Before I do that, I guess. Maybe. On anybody? No. No, I don't. No? Okay. Yeah, we'll leap climb that spider to there. All right. Um... I'm going to roll Willpower with Bonebreaker. Gets it. Which means I probably Bone won't get breaker. my leadership. does get it. Uh, let's see. He's on click four. Okay. So I'll take a blue action off of him. And leadership with Narawas. Oh, I do get it. They both have the warrior keyword. Ooh. So Raiden will remove his action token. Mm. And uh, let's see. Ghost fire. Mm. Mm. Just what I was worried about. I don't think. Yeah. Uh, well, Narwas will double perplex up Raiden's defense. You know that that much for sure. Okay. Um, what does your worker spider yeah. have? Does it have super senses or anything? It has. It's. It does not. It has barrier for its defense, uh, and power for its damage. So no rollouts, no toughness, no f crazy stuff. Okay. I'm going to phase my bone my bone breaker shaman to here. Weird that this light object is oh, an okay. action token. But that's fine. Uh, I'll phase him there. How, how strange. He will perplex up Raiden Mars's attack. Yeah, so he's an 11 okay. for 3. And then I will attempt to punch the spider. Okay. All right. You need to roll a 5 to hit the spider. You got the spider. You squish the worker spider. All right. Lip lop. Bonebreaker Shaman will heal one damage because. Oh, wow. Let's see. What... Opposing character within four squares is KO'd. Characters using this team ability. So it doesn't have to be KO'd by anyone using the team ability. It's just people with the team ability heal. Um, so that is Raiden's thing. His defense is doubled up. Uh, let's perplex. Jeez, what is Azog rocking on? Is he on his his sidestep flurry thing? He's on his sidestep flurry stuff. Yeah. Okay, we are going to outwit that with Raiden Mars, and then perplex down Thorin's speed. Oh, bro, you suck so much. <laughs> And uh, let me do my cool thing. Narawas will clear. Dang you! Dang! What a, I like what how a humongous the, bummer. I like how this token isn't the actual duo fig; it's just a wolf next to the guy. I know, right? There's, there's. I don't know why Brad, when he made these tokens, he didn't just like look at like the actual figure. Instead, he goes, "There's the common, and then there's the wolf." without the rider, and then he puts them on the thing together. I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. Azog is the same way. All of the uh, riders from the other Lord of the Rings set, like when I had Eamor and Steed, they were also the same way. Where it's like, oh, look, there's the horse, and then there's the guy. And I'm like, no, they, they have a sculpt with them riding the 
animal, you know, the wolf or the horse. Like, why why not just it's real dumb. I didn't to me, it's that. real stupid. It doesn't make any sense why why for whatever reason the rider isn't isn't on it. But yeah. Uh let's go ahead. Roll for willpower. On the hunter orc. Six gets it. Very nice. One, two, three, four. It can charge to there. And it will do so. Yeah, let's go for it. What are my values? Ten for three with battle theory. Not that it really matters. Ooh, that will hit. Uh, I will re-roll it with Raiden's prob because I can't use that guy's prob. Gotcha. That Still will hit. Still hits. I will have been great if it was a crit hit. Roll my super senses. Ah, how much damage? Ah, for for three whole damage. Okay, going to click four. All right, that is sadly kind of about it. So we're going to march these guys up. One, two, three, there, so that we can do something next turn. Let's, we're going to march this guy just to here, so that way no one can see him, so we can at least sidestep next turn. And it is your turn. All right. I lost my leadership, but I still have willpower with... Bonebreaker Shaman. And he gets it. Amazing. Hey! Uh, kind of do be getting them rolls, though. Let's see. You can use Perplex and Support. Can't really do that. Except maybe with that guy if he broke away. But that's not really worth it. Uh, what does Bard the Bowman have? Or That's not Bard. That's... Uh, Oaken Shield. What is there? Is no Bard the Bowman. Oaken Shield is, I believe, seventeen tough. Okay. He's seventeen tough. Show That's... enough. He is seventeen tough, baby. Uh, I don't think that's worth. Yeah, it is. Um, Raiden Mars will outwit that. The toughness. He will. Okay. Let's see, Narawas is a 9 for 2. So let's... It's on click 4. Yeah, let's uh, have Bonebreaker Shaman perplex up... Uh, how do I want to do this? We'll have Bonebreaker Shaman perplex up Raiden Mars' defense. Raiden is going to perplex up Narawas's attack. So he's an 11 for 3 with ranged combat expert. Then he's going to use his okay. enhancement because Narawas has sharpshooter team or sharpshooter ability. Uh, he's going to use his enhancement to increase his damage by 1. And then Narawas is going to shoot at Thor and Oakenshield. He'll be uh, uh, yeah, a sharpshooter. Gotcha. Shoot four. even while adjacent to opposing characters. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, you'll get it. it. Takes him to click five. Nothing I can do about it. I don't even need my silly power to reroll stuff. Uh... Then Bonebreaker Shaman can't really do anything. He could shoot, but there's no valid targets. So, yeah, he'll just have to clear, even though he made his willpower roll. And Raiden Mars used Perplex, Outwit, and Enhancement. So he's got to roll three times. And this actually matters this time. If I get a one or a two, I don't get to clear. Ah. It did not matter. Ooh. Very lucky. Very lucky. All right, sweet. Uh, let's do the willpower on the ward slash hunter orc. Oh, baby, he gets it. Very nice. Very nice. I think we definitely have the hunter orc duo attack. 
against Mr. Nora Wass for sure. So we'll do that. So it's a 10 to whatever you're rocking. 18. 18. It's going to be rough. Ooh, okay. Uh, we'll take that after resolutions and then. <sighs> oh my right. God. Um, that's... <laughs> that, Good ladies Lord. and gentlemen, <laughs> is what we call a gamer move. We'll go to click three <laughs> on the hunter orc uh, duo attack, ladies and gents. I think I've only ever seen somebody back to back uh crit miss and they were playing the <laughs> abpi rare uh, spidey with flurry and i was like hey you should play that at gosh. half points because if you played at full like and he takes two damage he's at half already and then his first attack was a flurry with two crit misses oh, gosh. wow gosh. all right let's skip over to Azog, he'll sidestep to here, and we'll flurry first attack going after Raiden. All right. Uh, that will hit a twenty Ooh, instead Raiden. this time. Much, much better. Raiden will prop that one. Prop that sounds good. That'll hit a fourteen. Attack flurry. All right, cool. Why would any of that hit? <laughs> Why would it? Uh, we'll clear Thorin and let Simeon sweep up the game. Because if we would have hit any of those attacks this turn, it would have looked very heavily in my favor. However, this is, of course, a Thursday throwdown. And I guess we're just on the time for me to not make my attack rolls. Yes. It sort of switches. It's some weeks it's, you make attack rolls, some weeks you don't. That's sort of the way it be sometimes. Um, let's see. What is, what is Azog rocking right now? Uh, he kind of do be a 17 tough right now. 17 tough. Oh, I've never thought about my... Ugh, I'm not going to say it. it. sucks. Goodness <laughs> gracious. I have rolled three crit misses in a row before, yeah. um, but this is the first time I've rolled a double crit miss on roll 20, which is very interesting. Or crit missed in like with the same character twice, really. I've, I've had people uh, flurry and roll like two crit hits in a row and just like wipe one of my big characters off like immediately and that also yeah sucks, but... that would have been cool that would have <laughs> sure would have been fun um <laughs> let's roll all right man wrap the game up let's because, go home yeah uh bone breaker shaman what does he want to do we're gonna start with him so he is a nine for two so he's going to Bonebreaker Shaman's going to perplex up his own attack to a 10 and then he's going to pick up the empower from Raiden Mars. So he's going to be a 10 for 3 and he's going to try and punch Azog. Does a 16 hit? Ah, oh, that would just miss. I will just miss. Miss by one. Reroll it with this guy. Yeah, with my team ability. Okay. That does nothing. Um, yeah, so we'll just take that action token. Raiden Mars will follow up and attempt to also punch Azog, so he will be okay. a 10 for 3. Uh, what I should have done is just perplexed Azog's defense down. Uh, but yeah, 10 for 3. Schwingen. That will hit Azog and kill Azog. Okay. And then, let's see, I've got my... What is Thor and Oakenshield rocking now? Uh, Thor and Oakenshield on click five. Let me check. On click five, he's a 17 tough. Okay. We're going to go all in again. So he's going to outwit the toughness. He will perplex. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter how I do it, so I'll perplex uh, Narawas's attack up. So he will be 
add an 11 for four again because I've got that enhancement. And Narawas will shoot at Oaken Shield. Does a 16 hit? That will just miss. I will prob it with Raiden Mars. That should hit a nice That will hit. And that will kill Thorin. Oh, and Bonebreaker Shaman is back to click one because two characters died. Not that he's doing awesome. anything now because it's, uh, what is he? TK barrier now. So that is my whole turn. Mm. Raiden would roll, but he's not going to clear this turn anyhow. Well, the Hunter Orc does have close combat expert and duo attack, which is passive, which is neat. So he'll be an 11 for three. Going ahead, double crit hitting his duo attack, this time against Norawas. That is a 10, which is at least not a crit miss. I'm going to prob it into a crit miss. All right. Oh. Ah, that'll hit a 19, at the very least. 19, Narawas is a 18 for three. Four three. He is dead. All right. No second attack. Don't have any range. So it is your go. Not so resurrection. That's what we got. That's all we it? got. Um. Yeah. I'm tempted to just be a complete pile of garbage, and I think I will. Bonebreaker mm, Shaman. That sounds. In is character. Gonna attempt to use support with his ten attack. He will heal Raiden Mars some amount. Uh, is it two? Support two. Support is yeah. Minimum support's two. minimum two. So Raiden minimum Mars two. will go back to click two, where he has psychic blast. What does uh hunter orc duo guy have? Oh, it's got a whole 17 toughness, baby. An entire 17, 17 toughness. toughness. Uh, Bonebreaker Shaman will perplex up Raiden Mars's attack. Raiden Mars will okay. not be able to modify his damage. So he'll just perplex up his own defense, and he will shoot at the, the Orky boy. Yes. Does a 18 hit? That will hit. For how much? For three damage psychic blast. Or no, four damage, sorry. Three. Oh, four. That'll definitely, yeah, that'll definitely kill Hunter Orc. All right, cool. That's all she wrote. Awesome. Oh, uh, I really wish this was tabletop simulator. I could at least flip the, the board, but I can't do anything like that. So, all right, cool. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. That brings us to uh, another epic Golden Age Brawl has come to a close. Reminder to vote for our teams and what figures you guys want us to play. That is, if you support us on Patreon, and if you haven't already, go ahead and check us out on Patreon. You can tell us what you want to vote for our teams here on our Discord channel, Patreon exclusive, or on the Facebook section, or on Twitter, where we share this video, or of course the comment section of this video itself. The next set's Simeon is going to be building out of Hobbits, Battle of the Five Armies, and I will be building out of Return of the King. A uh, very small last two sets that came out for the Lord of the Rings Hobbit series. And then after that, we're going to finish up Thursday Thread on some Yu-Gi-Oh sets. So it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun time. So Simeon gets Hobbit, Battle of the Five Armies. I get Return of the King. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Like always, happy trails.